In this video, I'll show you how to trade on the DEX trading feature within OKX. This lets you trade tokens on DEXs from within your OKX app. So you don't need to set up a separate wallet or anything like that, but you get access to all the tokens listed on the supported DEXs. If you're in your OKX app, go to the bottom and press trade in the middle. And then what you want to do is just hold down that button for a second or so, and then it will pop up with all of these options. Go to the DEX trading feature here, and what we can do is now gain access to all tokens listed on these decentralized exchanges on mostly Base and Solana right now, but I'm sure they'll add uh, other blockchains in the future. But all you have to do is set this up. You don't need a wallet, and then you can trade any token that exists on these DEXs. So the first thing that we'll need to do is set up uh, and, and enable the DEX. So I've already done this, but if you haven't, you should see this uh, right here where it says Enable DEX. It may actually pop up and say, hey, you need to enable this first. What OKX are going to do for you behind the scenes is actually create blockchain wallets for you. But you don't have to do any of that. They do everything. And all you have to do is just enable this and set up the pass key with it. A pass key is something that you set up on your phone. So if you've got an iPhone or an Android device, you will be able to set up a pass key, which is like a password with your biometrics. So press Enable DEX. And then from there, uh, you just have to go through the setup process. So you just complete the readiness check, which I'll show you, and then set up a passkey. If you already have a passkey set up with OKX, um, then it's just going to use your existing passkey. Passkeys can log into the exchange as well and do lots of other things, basically like a password, but for biometrics. So if you already have that set up, you don't have to set up a new one, um, but you have to just continue and sign in with your existing passkey. So I read the terms and conditions, press continue. From here, it says there's a, a three question readiness check. So index trading, who's responsible for holding and managing your assets? That is actually the bottom answer here. I am fully responsible for holding assets. You're essentially trading on decentralized exchanges with a wallet, and you actually own this wallet. Um, but OKX are just providing that for you through the centralized exchange app. So you have custody of your assets here. So you're responsible. On DEX, you can trade any on-chain token. Which statement is correct? Some tokens may be scammed or honeypots. Yes, that is correct. So OKX do not list these tokens specifically. And that means that you can trade any token. So you have to be really sure about which tokens that you're trading and that, that they are the correct token and everything like that. So that's your responsibility. So choose that one. And then Dex reading this check, uh, who is responsible if I lose funds? Again, you are fully, fully responsible here. This is not the OKX centralized exchange that you are trading on. Uh, and so buyer beware when uh, trading these tokens. So I am fully responsible. Uh, and then from there, as you can see, you're ready to trade. Now, what it will also do is um, just ask you to sign in with your passkey if it's already set up, which it probably is. Um, if it isn't, then it will ask you to set up your passkey here so that you can trade on the DEX feature. Once you've enabled the DEX feature, you can go ahead and choose the tokens that you want to trade. I'll also leave a link below to OKX if you haven't got an account yet. They do give uh, a bonus for new users, um, so you can check that out by the link below. But from here up at the top, all we have to do is just choose the blockchain that we want to trade on and the tokens there. So we can scroll to the right hand side and find the DEX feature. So I'll press DEX here. And you can see for right now, we have Solana, Base, and Xlayer as the three blockchains to trade on. Uh, so Xlayer is OKX's um, you know, blockchain. We have Base and Solana here. So I'm just going to choose the highest turnover token on Base, which is CBBTC, which is Coinbase's wrapped Bitcoin. So they have Bitcoin and then issue a token on Base so you can trade it. But you can see all the different tokens here. So I'm going to press CBBTC. And what we're doing is we're going to pay with either USDC, USDT, or ETH. Now on base, the layer one coin or the, the gas coin is ETH, so you can pay with that as well. Um, obviously, if you're on Solana, so we'll choose a Solana token, you'll see that you can pay uh, with uh, SOL or USDT and USDC. So it's up to you and which uh, blockchain that you want to go ahead and trade on. The balances of my USDC are actually in my OKX centralized exchange account, so I don't have to do anything or transfer tokens or, across. That will all be done under the surface. Then you can just choose how much you want to buy of the token. We can press buy CBBTC and it's a market order here. You can see the price, the amount that I'm going to spend and the amount that I'll receive. Uh, so you can press confirm and actually go ahead with that trade. That will take the USDC or other token that you're paying with out of your OKX account. And then you will get this token in your account that you can trade on the DEX. If you need a full tutorial guide for OKX, I'll link that down in the description alongside the uh, link if you want to sign up for an account as well. I'm James, this is Manny DG. Cheers for watching and I'll see you in the next one.